Stinky smell. Lami Pippany Lachey, your Temple neighborhood reporter, behind me is another overflow that happened early Sunday morning. The city calls it a sewer overflow and is working to put a stop to it for you and our neighbors. Basically, essentially with this particular sewer, it's a longer line and it's also an older line. So there's some holes in it. And basically whenever we get a large amount of rainfall, they over flow with those holes. It has been notification after notification of raw sewage overflows in Temple. What is a sanitary overflow? Here's the city's definition. While both overflows involves wastewater, a sanitary sewer overflow involves untreated sewage from sanitary sewer systems. Whereas water sewer overflows can include a range of wastewater types, including industrial wastewater from factories and businesses or sanitary sewage from toilets and sinks. As of Monday, the overflow consisted of more than 1 million gallons of mostly storm water mixed with raw sewage. The release is still ongoing and the city says it's trying to stay ahead of it by adding disinfectant. Standing here on 61st Street, right by the Bird Creek culvert, where I have been in previous reports, heavy rains at the beginning of April actually washed away some of the road. The city is currently working to make that road passable again. The Bird Creek Interceptor is the main sewer line running from north of Adams Avenue to just south of Lyons Park. The Bird Creek Trunk Sewer Project began in 2007 and has five stages to help with overflows. By placing the existing sanitary line with the 36-inch and 30-inch diameter sewer line, to handle the increased demand. Stage five is already complete. Stage four is estimated to be finished in December 2024. The Texas Commission on Environmental Quality is always notified according to the city. They provided the precautionary statement to the city that you are seeing on your screen. Bear with us as we go through the final phase of construction. Many of our neighbors in these complexes and surrounding streets say they are doing just that, waiting patiently for the city to finish up so that streets like this can reopen. Reporting in Temple, I'm Epiphany Lachey.